Hey there again, Pastor Nikki here for this week's children's sermon. Now, I um, hopefully you can see this but uh, and make out what it is. I can tell you that this is something that many of you probably have in your house or some sort of version of this because it's a coffee maker. I bet many of you have a mom or a dad or a parent or a guardian who cannot make it through the morning without at least one cup of coffee. I know that's true in our household. Not me, I'm a tea drinker, but my husband can't go without one cup of coffee. For a lot of adults and even some teenagers, coffee is an essential part of the day. People can't begin their day without having a cup of coffee. But there's a bit of a funny irony in people's dependence on coffee. Coffee takes a little time to make. You can't just open the fridge, pop off the cap, and drink coffee. You have to wash out the pot, dump out yesterday's coffee, fill, make the filter, fill the filter. Or unless you are lucky enough to have one of those Keurigs, pop a thing in, close it, and run it. But, you know, it still takes time to wait for the coffee to slowly drip. Imagine how frustrating it would be for some people who desperately need that cup of coffee to wait as long as even five minutes to get it in their system before they can begin to work. Now, imagine waiting 40 years before you can get started on your work. This is What happened in what we had talked about last time in the story of Joshua and Caleb, now we find Moses in the promised land. But they had to wait 40 years before they could get there. Many of you may know Moses is the man who led the Israelites out of slavery in Egypt. But did you know that Moses had to wait 40 years before he was even ready to do the job that God had given him to do? Moses was raised in the palace by Pharaoh's daughter. He was an Israelite who was well aware of his heritage thanks to his birth mother. But Moses saw the way the Egyptians were treating the Israelites, and he wanted to help them. In fact, one day he killed an Egyptian for mistreating a Hebrew slave. But violence was not a part of God's plan for Moses. And these actions led him to live in exile as a shepherd. He lived in the wilderness far from the splendor of Egypt, tending sheep for his father-in-law. Then one day, 40 years after leaving Egypt, God spoke to Moses through a burning bush and told him, return to Egypt. God has a plan for all of our lives. For some people, those plans are difficult to see. For others, though, they could not be more clear. But whether God gives you a clear calling by speaking through a burning bush or keeps you guessing, remember the story of Moses. Wait on the Lord and let God tell you when it is time to act. You may think you have it all figured out, but God sees many things that we can't see. Wait on the Lord and you will be amazed at God's perfect timing which is always different than our own. See you next time.